Uh, it's about Ukraine and how yeah. a Russian journalist faked his murder, essentially. Uh, and it highlighted some really problematic issues facing Ukraine and also how Russia treats journalists. Um, the, you know, there have been a lot of journalism advocacy groups that have come out and said, this is just not the way to do it. This is not the way to draw attention to this issue. Um, what's your take? My take is that um, essentially what the Ukrainians have done is they've made it easier for the Russian government to argue that they are the victims of disinformation. Russian journalists, Ukrainian journalists have good reason to fear that if they cross Moscow that they might be in danger. People have been murdered. Right. But when you, when you pull a stunt like this, and it's not clear that this stunt was strictly necessary in order to arrest the one guy that they've arrested. When you pull a stunt like this that this seems designed to embarrass Russia more than to deal with the actual problem, you just make it easy for the Russians to say, all these accusations against us are pure propaganda. And I think it highlights a lot of the issues I just spent 10 days in Ukraine that I saw traveling around the country. Is there any other way they could have done this? I, they could have done a sting operation that didn't involve pig's blood and a makeup artist and right. a fake trip to the morgue, yes. I think. Yeah. I mean, that's what a lot of people are sort of saying. Look, because your point is very well taken that in the future, anything that happens, if a journalist is murdered, as you pointed out, the Russians have murdered journalists for speaking out Absolutely. against Vladimir Putin, uh, they can say, well, how do we know this wasn't fake, too? Right. Well, they can point to the Sergei Skripal case in, in Britain, which they have denied having any involvement with. They can say this is another example of Western security agencies playing games to make Russia look bad. Right. And there are people in Russia who are already predisposed to believe that. And now they've got new ammunition. Again, you know, thank goodness Mr. Bobchenko's a Life. Right. And uh, thank goodness that they've arrested someone if this person is, in fact, involved in trying to set up a hit against him. But at the same time, it, it seems so theatrical. And the big press conference with the reveal with Babchenko walking out seemed so unnecessary right. yeah. that I, I just wonder whether there wasn't a way to know. do this in which the security services of Ukraine, God bless them, didn't try to use a journalist to pull off a fake stunt in a way that undermines their credibility and the credibility of a journalist whose credibility is crucial to his success.